Yahoo. Hopefully we can beat that 323. <coughs> Come on, water. Shit. Damn. It's halfway there. Got answers. Mm -hmm. 
Try this shit again. Hopefully, I don't lose another pair of engines. So last time, I think I lost four engines, got to 100 meters per second, mm -hmm. and yeah. Well, Lee Watson, you better get on it, bro. Nice little bird. Oh shit. You know what? I'm tired of losing shit, so I'm just gonna lose it in the space hangar and run it. 
Fucking motherfuckers. It's all because I did some changes. Thinking I was going to improve it. Yeah, well, you know what? I... Um... Screw you. Put you way back there. Alright. And then... You guys. You're out of here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright. And I think that's it, right? Right? Yeah, I was thinking that too. But where? <laughs> um. Wow, I didn't know you could brace onto a fuel line. That's awkward. That should work. Cause I'm getting real tired of shit falling off trying to beat records. Alright. Thing but also lowering it too. talking in the background really loud when I'm trying to stream. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, well, I mean, I can't raise the center because then it'd raise everything else. So, I have to raise or lower this to raise the center. But, uh, I did tilt these engines so I got four tilted engines and two that are straight so yeah save delete the auto save and run 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 No, because remember, every, every time I fucking put a cone on it, it fucking disengages. And then I have to switch over to the other drone core.
Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I know, right? It's like there's really no structural integrity to any part. Especially when you're doing like 180 meters per second. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Lost another part. Did somebody not put the screw and the nut on? Yeah, we did extend it a little bit, didn't we? I'm thinking that we extended it, what, one or two of these? I think we just did one. So I'm pretty sure if we take w the four off, the four up here, and we bring those nose tips back, then we might be able to make it run like the last time. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh. Save it, did I save it? Damn. Yeah. So, Frenchy tells me six vectors for a speedboat? That's really overkill. You want to move? To, you want to move the complete continent with it? <laughs> uh, I got records to beat Matthew. So hell yeah, I am trying to move continents. <laughs> uh, that was great. Um, at least I ain't got my drone core hitting and messing shit up. I'm also thinking about maybe protecting those engines by maybe, let's get to it, let's get to it. Is that it? No. No. Doing something like this. Yeah, it's gonna look a little barbaric, but like a deflector shield. So in case something hits it, it won't hit the engine, it'll hit the the deflector shield. 
And it damn near blocked all three of them. So, like, I could do that. And it'd make all that aerodynamic and it deflects shit. Like, if that drone core wanted to come out, it'd hit that shield and fly off. Bada bing, bada boom. You know? Yeah, it adds weight, but you know what? Let's see how many parts we have, anyways. Uh, we're at 112 parts at 171 tons. So this boat is 171 tons. What the fuck? You know, I, I'm thinking about shortening it up a bit. What do you think, John? Shorten it? Let's see. That's where our center of mass is, right here. And if I shorten it, I think it will slide just a little bit back, maybe like to about right here. So a couple inches. On that scale, we'll call them kinches instead of inches, Kerbal inches. No, the only um, the only ones that are level are on the outside. Uh, these two are still angled, as you can see. So this one's had this one has a stronger angle. This one's a moderate angle, and this one's a flat angle. <laughs> so yeah. Well, that's what we had earlier. Yeah, I'll give it a little bit more shallow. There. So it's not as flat, but you can see how it angles up instead of straight this way. So. Let's try it, because no matter what, I'm going to be pointing it up to keep the nose out of the water, unless, do something like that. And then and there you have it. Bang a ring. All right, so that's how we're going to keep the tips out of the water. All right. All right, let's try it. Yeah, rat. That's cool, man. Um <laughs> I'm just running test after test after test and yeah, I just happened to one test get 323 meters per second on the water. So I'm trying to beat that as I keep testing and testing and testing. So, yeah, and it looks pretty badass. It started with one of those uh, hydro uh, F1 boat racers, and then it just kind of evolved from there. So, yeah, that last episode, the uh, planes, plane, planes, <laughs> stupid title. Uh, it was like they have it three hours long, but at the hour mark of two hours and 45 minutes is when I, I achieved that 323 meters per second. It was, it was a lot of fun. I don't know how I did it, but I did it and then ran out of fuel and it tumbled all over the water. It was a mess. But got 323 out of it, so that was a plus. <clears throat> All right. 
Oh, bugger. I hope I get this one. I mean, six engines. I should do like 340, 360, right? Should be able to. It takes a lot of skill in the water. Um, there's a lot of things you gotta kind of look out for, <laughs> like floating logs. You, know, you don't want to hit a log doing 175 meters per second. <laughs> it fucks some shit up. All right, let's see how she sits. It's not too bad. I don't know if I want to gamble my engines or not. Yeah, I'm going to need to. Damn it. Damn it. I don't know what the hell's going on. I just lost four engines. That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, 384 or 184, sorry. Motherfucker. Um, you know what, bro? I'm gonna. I'm gonna shorten it back up. I think making it too long, too too long, wasn't the uh, answer. <laughs> So I wonder how many other people are in the community, the KSP community is going to be running this challenge. It's going to be fun to see everybody getting into challenges again. Like, I don't think there's been a public challenge in a long time. Uh, up or down? They are secured, bro. The whole craft is auto strutted. Like, there ain't one part that's not auto strutted. Like, I got struts there. I got two struts per engine, plus auto struts. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Um, whoops. Um, we're already at what a hundred and hundred and twelve parts at a hundred and seventy one tons. It's at twenty seven was it twenty two meters long. 
9 meters wide, so it's 26 feet wide. Damn. So it's almost like, what, 40 feet long? The length, 22 meters. So, and 9 meters is 26 feet. I don't know. I'm um I'm telling you something's hitting it and making the fucking engines come off. Well, the thing is is you want to keep the front up. And that's why I kind of tilted these up, so that way it give that little bit of, so it wouldn't dive. I know it moved back just a little bit because it was way up here. We'll see. I mean, it, it did almost a backflip that that last run. We're gonna try it, bro. We're gonna run it. We're gonna run the fucking dog shit out of it. <laughs> run. Oh, man. <laughs> Funny shit. We're gonna run the dog shit out of it. Oh. I mean, we're gonna float it with oars, dude. I want to. I need to get design something with the electric motors in this, and make it where it paddles the oars. Not a big old paddle wheel. I've made a steam engine before, a, a steamboat, and uh, it's not what you think. <laughs> get to play like maybe once a week uh, I work at a port at a cement plant and uh, I work 12 hour days damn near every fucking day except for Sundays and I ain't had a weekend off in like months so I'm trying to be as lazy as I can I ain't trying to be out in the hot sun because I'm in that motherfucker every fucking day who wants to be out in the hot sun working in it and then come home and want to be in it fuck that Fuck that landing gear. So are you gonna try to get into the uh the boat races here, rat? I wish we could do it in multiplayer. Oh man, imagine lining up with everybody else's boats and just running, going. Dude, that'd be badass. I can't wait for KSB two. I know. Fucking sucks. And in the end of this week, my bosses and everybody's been like stress testing me and getting me lost doing shit. It's like, come on, man. Alright, you know what? We're gonna try to lock up the uh, gimbal. Well, I'm bringing back some of the challenges. <coughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn that gimbal on. And I'm gonna turn that gimbal on. Whoa, what the fuck? Don't you do it, motherfucker. Alright, 
cool. I lowered the engines like you told me to. I lowered the engines. That's why they're falling off. Because they're hitting the water. That's a lot smoother. What the fuck? Really? Okay. So I'm gonna bring the engines back up. Cause I, I lowered the engines. So I'm going to bring them right back up. Because I think what it is is invisible splashing water is killing the engines and dislodging them. See how much I lowered him? <laughs> I gave him some good clearance. Yeah, well. I'm trying to keep that front end out of the water. So I have to lower the rear into the water. Um, actually it does. Um, I've got a video somewhere in my playlist of videos where, um, I did make a, uh, where there was two wings on the bottom and they were tilted in. And, um, so it was almost the wing tips touched each other and, um, it kept the, it kept it in the water. But once you get to like, I don't know, 140 meters per second, then when you when the boat rises up out of the water like the complete boat rises out of the water the only thing that's in the water is those wings and once you're doing like 145 meters per second they rip off because of aerodynamic pressure and hydro physics that's why i'm not doing the hydrofoil uh with the deal right now And you can't have, um, you can't have them like ailerons or anything because then they'll throw off the, uh, the steering of the boat. When you, when you're going fast like this in the water, you want to go as straight as possible. So having the hydrofoil and trying to turn at a high speed, it just, it's not friendly. <laughs> it's funny, but not friendly. <laughs> oh, and John. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a north and south run instead of east and west. I think that's another problem that I'm running into because you've seen how smooth it was running north and south. So I'm gonna try to do that and run north and south.
Yeah, no. I mean, I could make a hydrofoil boat like a motherfucker. I just extend this centerpiece like I had it long before I evolved it into this and uh, add those two little wings on the bottom that go from out here towards the center like a V and um, yeah and run it but you won't see it go any faster than 145 meters per second See, everything that I've done kind of led to this point with this type of uh, design. Thanks with my little brother's help there. Structural engineer expertise. Extra extraordinaire. So yeah, I'm the physics guy. He's the structural guy. <laughs> Well, I'm not really trying to go for looks. I mean, yeah, it does look cool, but yeah, I'm not trying to go for looks. All right, landing gear in? Yep, all right. Damn it, man. What the fuck happened? Guy, what is your problem? That was crazy. You're making me look bad, dude. Um... Maybe six engines is overkill. Maybe I just take two off and yeah. I don't know why this thing is doing me like this. This is bullshit. So my drone core is coming out, which is glitched in right there. You could see. Which is right there. And it's being fucking stupid. Like, I don't know what its problem is. Hmm. Well, I mean, I could reset these by resetting them. Well, I guess not. So I have to rebuild them. Maybe, but then you're dealing with like then you get that weight and pressure that force in the front and then you have to vector the, that thrust just right and it's better to control it from the rear than both sides I think because then you're having to run into okay so I tilt the front and then tilt the back and you're having to work on two different areas than one area. I'd rather work on one area, to be honest. 
I mean, it it may run. I'm not gonna shoot it down, but I'm just saying that's the physics of it. I wonder where Frenchie is. Where's Matthew? Oh, that's right. He doesn't watch my videos. All right, so we're damn near back to square one. Well, I don't know what square this was, but. Um, damn it, man. I might just have to rebuild it. I don't know. Oh, bugger. It's almost what, 48 minutes we've been back on and two successful runs without breakup, maybe? You're not auto strutted. <laughs> well, if I can't go north, I'll go south. How about them apples, son? Dun, 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 dun. Try it, man. Just be sure you heavily brake at the end of the runway. <laughs> That's why I go left and right, so I can bleed that. I got the brakes on, but uh, I also, doing that turning also bleeds the uh, speed off. So that way you don't go flying and destroy your boat before it even hits the water, and only pieces of your boat go into water. Hey John, what what about a third set of pontoons? Make it a little bit wider. <laughs> and be sure that you hit the water doing at least less than 20 meters per second so you don't do any damage. up We should be hitting max Q soon. Really? Fucking for real. Shitting me. 
What the fuck happened? All right, rechargeable battery bank splash down hard. Uh, lift off. Okay, so let's scroll down here. So liquid fuel engine collided into MK fuel rocket fuel fuel silage. Uh, fuel fuel silage splashed down hard and was destroyed. Uh, adjustable ramp intake collided with MK2 rocket fuel, uh, fuselage, so fuel tank. Um, external fuel duct collided with the, uh, vector engine, liquid engine. Um, this is some stupid shit. But we got 200 me 209 meters per second. <laughs> Motherfucking douchebags, man. Oh, man, that's so stupid. <laughs> Revert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Can I just do over like 250? Come on. At least let's try to get some type of consistency here. Like 323 was like, okay, beginner's luck. Good for you. Way to go. No, motherfucker. Let's keep it consistent. Damn it, man. Well, at least we know we could do like 150 to 200 meters per second consistently. So I guess that's our average with this boat. <laughs> New design. Is this auto started? Yeah. Maybe we take it back in the shop and um, extend the front. <coughs> oh, you know what I keep forgetting is, well, if I do that, well, I do have the air intakes for it for replacing oxidizer so I do have air intake for the end I just don't know if the rocket engines will run with air intake than oxidizers I haven't tried that before But I'm getting to hate the center stage, the center part. I'm thinking about just raising it up. Like on a fucking A-frame. Like how those amphibious propeller airplanes are. The little amphibious Cessnas. smooth the water
Motherfuck. And it's still going. All thanks to these probe cores and the pontoons. 